So my final category, I'm sorry, I've talked so long this week. As this is what I wanted. This is what we... <laughs> this is what I prayed for. Is well, it's not my. It's my second to last one. I've just remembered. Um, is the gender neutral skirt wearers, nice. because this is not a recent trend, yeah. as Candace Owen will have you believe, the conservative mm. person. So last week, Harry Styles was put on the American Vogue cover as the first man to go solo on their cover. Okay. And he is being hailed by like all the designers that have done it and yeah. because he's this mainstream guy everyone's like he's a pioneer in gender neutral fashion like great and i can believe that he has is helping towards not making it more acceptable in the mainstream but it's more visible in the mainstream however yeah. he is not doing anything new not even in celebrity culture pop culture he is just a man wearing a dress because he wants to wear a dress and that is it and like yeah he's allowed to do that but also if people of color do it if drag queens do it if gay men do it like they just get lambasted and not this kind of praise that people are Billy Port have been doing it for a while, you know? Billy like, dresses are beautiful. Yeah. Jonathan Van Ness. Like, yeah. they're just two you can think of off the top of your head. And they are I know um, Robert Sheehan, I, mean, I might be saying his name wrong, yes, but they, yeah. he, Bonsai. like, without no comment, just for years has been wearing skirts on the red carpet and hasn't, it's like, me. they've never uh, really been addressed. He just likes wearing no. them. And it's like everyone's losing their crap because... Harry Styles is doing it and the right wing have picked it up for something. So it's interesting. And people in there's in an article, in a dazed article, Fenella Hitchcock, much be called Fenella. I'm sorry. Fenella. She's, Fenella. But, Fenella. Um, she says it reflects a shift in conversations surrounding masculinity that have been happening for a while. Um, and it's just that he's kind of showing this like femboy TikTok culture. And it's like yeah. non-binary stuff. So it's not actually as revolutionary as some people are like reacting to it. As. I think because is it just because it's like on the cover of Vogue? Like other people have just yeah. done it at awards and stuff, and then the people yeah, like a lot of people can ignore that. Not a lot of people yeah, follow award show too. fashion and stuff mm. like that. Whereas the cover of Vogue, like that was that was trending. It was on the news and stuff like because if he's yeah. the like first man to be solo on the cover. So that was trending a lot, and then I think like a lot of people heard about it, so there was a lot of polarising opinions. And they were yeah. like, oh my gosh, he's the first person to do that. No, not no. even close. No, no, And I no. think that's where the insult is, is that it's like, oh, people lose their mind over it because he's a cisgendered, white, rich, attractive man, mm-hmm. and now it's acceptable, whereas actually, you know, he's doing like, com- what people have been doing for years. Well, like, compared to like some of the other men who've worn... Like dresses and skirts and stuff. I didn't think it was styled that well. Like it wasn't. No. I just didn't love the look that much. Like I, I like that they did it, but I just don't love the look. I thought it was because like, it's Gucci. Um, yeah, I think they've I'm just been like was... put him in a dress. That'll do. And it was like mm. styled a dress. Like come on. I'm like <laughs> no. And like a lot of the inside cover photos I've seen, he looks like he's just wearing a long kilt. Which yeah, is... he does, doesn't he? Which like yeah. I mean, that's giving you, like, David from Shit's Creek vibes. Like, yes, that's not... exactly. Like, we're not not used to seeing men in skirts. Like, it's not as big of a deal. And Pharrell Williams appeared on the cover of GQ in a dress last year, which I didn't remember. But there's, like, tons of Little Nas X, Jane Smith, oh, Nas. Oak, AS- ASP Rocky. And then, like, but then you go back and it's Bowie and Prince, Lenny Kravitz. Brad Pitt on the 1999 Rolling Stones cover. David Beckham was wearing a sarong in the 90s, like... There's, it, it's nothing new. No. <laughs> it's nothing new. Um, so, yeah, so it's just like Candace Owen, the American right winger, has just gone for it. Um, and I didn't want to read her out because I don't want to give her any attention, but the, the actual, what she tweeted is just, it's so funny. It could be satire, but obviously it's not. So she said, There is no society that can survive without strong men. The East knows this. In the West, the steady feminization of our men at the same time that Marxism is being taught to our children is not a coincidence. It is an outright attack. Bring back manly men. <laughs> what? Like, why? <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't, like, 
I hear, I hear. Okay, you're allowed to your opinions, but sometimes like, I hear these people, and I'm like, you have you read a book? Like, do you know nothing? Like, how how do you have like what well, American school is teaching marks? Like, that's why I want. To know. I think it's one thing to like look. I mean, no American school is teaching marks. Let's just no. be frank with that. None of them are, um, <laughs> unless you go to some like one of like the liberal arts college yeah yeah. exactly i just know they're scared to teach anything that's like gonna promote communism okay (laughs) so but like secondly having an opinion is fine but like how does it at all impact your life for one and two like i think it would be okay if she was like i don't know if she said like yeah it's but i don't really care but it's not some like i'm a little uncomfortable about it or like it's not Mm. something that i would like I I wouldn't find it I personally don't find it attractive in a man I would have been like okay well that's her opinion she has a different view but like like the the feminization of men do you like dresses are not any like anything to do with gender it's an item of clothing it doesn't like read a book it's literally that is you don't even need a book for that just don't you know that clothing has nothing but even that just clothing it's clothing it's clothes like you give children dresses and if they like like it they'll put it on it doesn't matter yeah. what gender they are they'll just be like oh pretty put it on it has nothing to do with what gender you are or what people are spreading or masculinity or and like people then looked at past historical examples and they were like yeah bring back manly men with the tie with powdered wigs and loads of makeup and giant pantaloons and baby boys in victorian times had christening dresses like ev- everybody it's only a very recent thing that it's had to be rigidly on this binary that doesn't exist. Well, like, my dad wears like any well, like any formal event we go to, he's in his kilt, and it's like I've never considered that weird. But no. I think people view kilts different to like yeah skirts. But it, yeah. at the end of the it's day, it, it's just a skirt, isn't yeah. it? Like it's not yeah. just a fancy skirt. And yeah. I never once have looked at him and been like, woman he is woman now <laughs> i've been like okay well yeah but he's, in a he's, he's a scotsman at a wedding like he's yeah. gonna be in a kill <laughs> exactly. Jesus. i actually prefer him in his kill if he goes to things in a suit i'm like i know my dad doesn't do wear a kill but my brother every opportunity every wedding when we were little he'd have these like tiny little oh, not tiny little kills, but like he would be in, so he'd be in a kill that's very cute. <laughs> <The English accent. laughs> Hi! Um, <laughs> yeah, surprise! <laughs> um, somebody who's actually handled, I didn't want, like, obviously everyone's had an opinion about this, everyone's been like, shut up Candace Owen, supporting Harry Styles, every, yeah. blah, blah, blah. But Logan Paul has really gone on, like, this reformation streak where he <laughs> has been really vocal about, like, Black Lives Matter and stuff, and he openly had this conversation where his co-hosts he was like I don't see anything unmanly about that like and then his co-hosts were like oh well it doesn't make me a man and then his co-hosts start gaslighting him telling them he's getting aggressive and like um he's reacting badly to them oh my god and but he's like no tell me why you think it's unmanly like what about that is the gender like he said if Vogue phoned me up and said, we'll put you in a dress on the front cover. He'd be like, yeah, I would do that. I would do that in a heartbeat. Yeah. So who would have thought that Logan Paul would be the voice, a voice of sanity well, against his own co like, um, If Logan Paul can think that, the people who aren't thinking <laughs> that, like, that's, yeah. That really, like, paints you in a bad light, doesn't it? <laughs> like, you are, you're worse than Logan Paul. Yeah. It's, it's not good. 